Well, I tell you, with this open round, our investors, <laughs> it's what is what does the exit lo- look like? You know, and so uh, uh, you know, so how long are you in this game with us? Well, the truth is, is that for therapeutics companies, um, uh, most of these do exit. Uh, not most. Let me let me say about 50, about 50, 50. Everyone. Um, Companies like us that I believe are doing it the right, right, right way. We always present ourselves as future IPO companies, even when this market is terrible right now. We always present ourselves as future IPO companies. On the Nasdaq alone, since 2018, there have been over 320 therapeutics companies that have gone uh, public. They and 84 percent of these have gone public prior to completing a phase two human clinical trial. About a third wow. of those have been preclinical, third of those phase one, third of those phase two. Now, and favoring, you know, and the greatest representation of, 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 of that 320 are small molecule companies, pill-based companies bringing forward a cancer therapy. And so we're perfectly lined up uh, to, uh, ma- to, to match that trend. The flip side, merger and acquisition act at, activity. You want to look like an IPO company that's about to do an IPO because that's where the offers come come right. from. Whenever a publicly traded company or e- e- even a private pharmaceutical company believes you're going to do an IPO um, and, and they like your product, they like your company, they don't want to pay that premium over the IPO price to get get you later. Threatening the IPO brings potential acquirers to to the table. And so that's so, again, even though IPO only comprises about 50% of the exits in this space only, it's it's still a pretty healthy chunk. 50% of the investor uh, the investor exits in this space. Um, you still want to look like an IPO company. And ideally, other companies, other firms are watching you. And then, you know, when you're reaching that committed point for the for the IPO, that's when the offers start start to come. So quite frankly, Ar- Armin, we're just focused today on just building a great company. I'm not trying to sell the company. I'm not a- a- I'm not actively trying to market our company to any pharmaceutical partners. We have got to build a great company, you know, hopefully someday be ready for an IPO with acceptable markets. That's where our lowest cost capital is going to come from. Even with the hassles of being a publicly traded company, you love that low cost capital. And if someone's watching on the sidelines and sees the opportunity, oh yeah, let's talk, you know? So 